um, our working party, we've worked very hard. It's been a lot of effort, but it's certainly been a pleasure uh, to have all the work and the rehearsals. Now, we spent many practice sessions to see if Harry could play live. He can play brilliantly. That was no problem. But it wasn't to be. We couldn't quite get the sound and the vision to work quite right, despite Sue and Harry's real efforts. So Sue, Harry's wife, recorded Harry playing a real treat. So we're going to hear and see Harry playing with thanks to Sue. When I'm 64, over the rainbow, you don't have to say you love me. And that'll be followed by a world of our own, which I've changed into a world of glass with some of my photos. And then you'll see, with a little help from my friends, some photo sequences. And I've used the photographs that I had of you 3 a friends. Um, Sorry if you're missing, but from 821 members, it was quite difficult to fit you all in. But I did my best. And uh, once we can get out and about again, I'll be coming out with my camera to see if I can capture some more of our U3A friends. So um, Derek's going to play this from his screen. But first of all, we're going to see Harry, just spotlight Harry. So Harry, can we can just say hello to Harry? Uh, good morning, Christine. Morning, Harry. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your playing and how you came to learn how to play the piano? And Well, it's probably been almost by accident to some extent. Um, I started uh, piano lessons, which I only had for six months, but it was a long time ago. Uh, when I was nine, that was 75 years ago. And... Um, uh, I then carried on uh, sort of teaching myself. And then I, in 1965, I sold a second-hand car um, and made £400 profit. And I thought, well, I should do something unusual with that. So I bought an organ, and the rest, as they say, is history. I then had uh, two groups, taught the organ for 30 years, and loved playing uh, every day just about. And from a very personal point of view, um, 15 months ago, I had a stroke and uh, lost uh, all the fine movement from my left hand. And three hours of scales per day on the keyboard has got me back again. Um, I would like to take the opportunity because of Zoom to thank Christine, Ian and John, and of course, Derek for producing these slides. And my lovely wife, Sue, who's had to do numerous uh, recordings when I've gone through and said, sorry, that won't do, we'll have to do it again. <laughs> so thank you all. Yes. I hope you enjoy it. Well, thank you. And that's a fascinating story. I'm really impressed by your story um, and how you learned to play uh, from just a few lessons. That's absolutely incredible. And what a profit on a car. Wow. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> yes, thank you. So thank you, Derek.
Thank you, Harry, for your wonderful playing there. Um, absolutely superb. It's a real joy and gives us so much pleasure and really uplifts us. The glass photos I took in the House of Marbles, that was from an Exmouth photo group um, visit and uh, then went back there again to take some more photographs. That's well worth a visit. House of Marbles over near Newton Abbott. And then as you will see, I tried to find as many photographs as I had of our U3A friends in the uh, kaleidoscope. So great pleasure. And uh, thank you, Harry, especially for A World of Our Own by the fantastic Judith Durham. Um, I always loved her singing voice, absolutely superb. Gives me a lot of pleasure. So thank you.